Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? <laughs> well, I wanted to do a fun video over here today. So, uh, and I wasn't sure, I was like, well, maybe I should put this on my review channel. But this is kind of more of a show and tell. So I'm gonna do it over here. Um, first of all, I wanna show you that I'm like using my new cup that I bought yesterday um, when I went on my hunt for Starbucks holiday cups. And I used this last night while I vlogged and I'm using it again today. And I just made coffee in it, so um, <laughs> I'm gonna let it cool down down for a little bit. These cups, they um, are fantastic for holiday presents, I will tell you, but they hold heat in them. I don't know if you can see the steam rising. They hold heat in them so much. Um, they're really fantastic for like if you're gonna drive around for a couple hours and do errands and stuff, they really keep your coffee warm. But um, I lately have been making coffee at home um, on the Keurig or in the Keurig and um, you know, I did my video about coffee the other day and I talked about that, but like every day this summer and for the last, I don't know, years, I would wake up and the first thing I would do is leave the house and go to Starbucks. It was like every single day I went to Starbucks and I had to get my venti iced coffee with one equal was what I drank for a long time. Um, and then I started drinking venti iced Americanos, but um, that's what I would do. I would go to Starbucks every day. And you know, it was interesting because the Starbucks close to me um, shut down for a while. And so I guess they're reopening on um, December 6th, but they shut down for a while. And so the closest Starbucks to me was, I mean, another, like it was out of the way from where I usually go on my usual mornings. So I wasn't going to Starbucks. And then I fell in love with Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but Dunkin' Donuts coffee was like so much farther away. And I was like, this is so stupid. It would just be easier to make coffee in the Keurig. And so I started doing that every day. And what happened was like two weeks went by and I was like, You've literally, I mean, like, because I, I go to Starbucks seven days a week. So I was like, and it's $5 a shot, right? So I'm like, you've saved, you know, $35. Oh, and if I do a review at Starbucks, it's even like another 10 on top of that. So I'm like, you've saved like $30, $35 in the, a week on coffee. So what did I do? I do what any good addict does. And I manically got online and ordered more coffee than you can, more holiday curings than you could ever possibly want in a million years. I just had a new box today come and I am so excited to show you guys all of my holiday curing uh, cups. Now, I do wanna say this before I get into all of this. These are not, oh, Tucker, oh, Tucker, are you gonna help me, buddy? Um, I do wanna say this before I get into this is that not all of these, these are not all just for Christmas. I mean, obviously they're gonna last me long after Christmas, but they are like wintry fa flavors. Probably in the summer, I will go back to having iced coffee again, but actually the Keurig that I bought is to make iced coffee. I don't think it really works that well. So if you are thinking about buying like uh, iced coffee, this is kind of a review, I guess, but not really. This is a show and tell. If you are thinking about buying a Keurig for somebody for the holidays, I would just buy them the regular old Keurig. Now, my sponsor, she loves her latte one where you can like make lattes in it. But like for me, I bought the iced coffee one and I don't, I've never really used it past the first couple days because there's really no difference to it. So anyway, let me show you um, some of the things that I have purchased and some of my favorite things. The first thing I want to show you guys that came today. Here, let me get a little bit of a thumbnail first of all. Are you ready? Okay. How am I going to, oh, boxes are flying. Okay. Okay, the first thing that came in the mail today, and I got this on Amazon. I honestly don't even know how much money it is, but um, how much money it was, but it is the 12 Christmas coffees. And so it's like a, a advent calendar for Christmas, okay? Now, when I went to Tuesday morning and I did that shopping thing, I bought the Halloween one. Do you guys remember that? And I have to tell you, I really ended up liking a lot of those. There was like an apple pie coffee on there that was delicious. There was like a coconut coffee on there. I loved that little set that I bought from there. So let me tell you the coffee that they have on here. And I'm going to start doing the, the 12, one well, of the 12 days of Christmas. Every single day, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to have one of these each day. I'm real excited about it. I can't wait. Okay. Uh, White Christmas, Jingo Bell John. I don't even know what the brand of this coffee is. Does it even say? Enjoy the variety of 12 delicious cups of coffee over the holiday season in just minutes. Candy cane, Christmas cookie, Chris cinnamon bun, gingerbread cookie, holiday magic blend, jingle lava, merry mocha, peppermint mocha, spiced butter rum, spiced eggnog, 
Tis the Season and White Christmas. It doesn't even say the brand on here. Coffee Masters. I've never heard of that brand before. So that's pretty cool, that, don't you think? Okay, so that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. Now, I want to show you just some basic things. First of all, um, from the Starbucks, I bought the Holiday Blend this year, which I have to tell you, as you can see, I haven't really used a lot of these. Um, I do not love the Holiday Blend. I got it because I didn't really remember, but I will tell you that this is just not really, like, my favorite this year. So, um, but... That's okay because I bought gingerbread by um, Starbucks, and as you can see, I only have two left in there because I absolutely love the gingerbread. Um, this one, I would tell you, is probably one of my favorites. Okay, then my all-time favorite holiday coffee that I have purchased so far this year, you guys, is the Barney's Santa's White Christmas that you can get on Amazon, um, and it comes in this uh, thing, 24 cups. I actually... Where is it at? Oh, it's underneath this other box. <laughs> because I was worried that they would stop selling it after the holidays, which somebody in my vlog commented and said that they buy it year-round at their grocery store. So maybe you can even get it at your grocery store. I don't know. But I just bought another box of this because this is my favorite so much. It's kind of spicy. Um, it's like a really rich, like a medium roast. I'm not big into like, unless I'm like, in Miami <laughs> or Mexico, sitting by the beach late at night, you know, and uh, my husband's having a, you know, a glass of Malbec, and I'm sitting there having like a, a really rich, strong coffee or um, an espresso or something like that. That's when I really like a strong coffee, you know, or sometimes in the really early in the morning, like if I get up, like I went through McDonald's the other day and like it was a strong cup of coffee. It was late at night and I was listening to my audio book, but mostly I really like medium blends. And so most of these coffees that you'll see that I am recommending are medium blends. So there's that. Okay. So love all that. Then I feel like something is missing over here. Oh, it's because I keep on putting this box on it. I got these on Amazon. You guys can just put K-Cups or holiday K-Cups into Amazon and you will, so much stuff comes up, you guys. So, um, I bought this. I actually, when it came, I was like, I don't even know what this is. Did I order this? It's the Cake Boss Coffee. It's Carlos, uh, or no, not Cake Boss, Carlos Bake Shop Coffee, okay? And these are really, really good, you guys. And there's like six different flavors in here. Um, every one of them that I've tried so far, last night I tried Raspberry Truffle, and it was delicious, you guys. It tasted like, I kept on saying it on my vlog over and over and over again. I was like, this tastes just like a raspberry chocolate. It was so good. Um, hold on, they have um, on here, I, uh, it's, oh, it does say Cake Boss. I thought so. It says chocolate, biscotti, um, okay, I can't read these. <laughs> okay, which one's this? Dolce de Leche, um, okay. Oh, here it is, raspberry truffle. That was the one that I had last night. So these are really, really cool as well. I guess these are the Cake Boss ones. So anyway, um, get your coffee on, it says, Carlos's Bake Shop. But why does it say Cake Boss on the thing? I don't know. Anyway, that's not matter. Then I got this coffee from Mods, which I, Mods, do you remember Mods back in the day, the TV show? Um, but I didn't know anybody had ever heard of this before. I had literally never heard of it. And so I, they had two different collections. They had a holiday collection and just a regular collection of like different coffees. And the holiday collection wouldn't get here until like the 12th of December and I have no patience. So I was like, I'm just gonna order this one now. And this is literally how it came, you guys. <laughs> Which one should I have today? But anyway, these are these Mods Coffee uh, K-Pods. And I love these, you guys. They're so fantastic. I think this one's raspberry. Raz raspberry Chocolate. <laughs> these, are the, uh, these are the ones I think that have the funny names to them. Hold on a second. No, they don't. One of these in here has, like, funny names. Jamaican Rum. Uh, Dreamy Creamy Salted Caramel. Mod Sisters Hazelnut. Uh, Gone Bananas Foster. Oh, that one is so good, you guys. I have to put that one on top. I love that one. Um, that was the first one that I tried that night. But so many people were like, oh, I love this. They have this at my work and stuff like that. So I've never heard of mods, but you can get these online on Amazon too. And it'll come to you in a beautiful package just like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next thing is, these are, oh, the, this is the last thing. Um, I just ordered these on Amazon and this will get me, I didn't realize how big these boxes are, you guys. This is gonna get me through winter. But they had so many great flavors, and they didn't, like, I, the mixed boxes of them were, like, humongous, and so I just was, I didn't know. So I was like, I'm just going to pick a couple of these and get them. 
So this is Crazy Cups, okay? And um, Crazy Cups, a bit obsessed with flavors, it says. And I was sitting here looking at the box in the kitchen. I was like, I can't find the flavor. And um, this one is White Christmas, okay? So White Christmas is the flavor of that. And um, I already, this is the one I opened. Here's my beautiful display. <laughs> because this is the one that I wanted it the most for, okay? And that is uh, spiced gingerbread. So that is the coffee that I have in my cup right here, which I will try in just a second and tell you what I think. Um, so anyway, spiced gingerbread. There's a praline one in here, I know, because that's the one I'm like really excited about. It's like praline brittle or something. Oh, here it is, praline nutcracker. <gasps> Doesn't that sound so good? I mean, it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. So anyway, and then the last one is roasted chestnut brittle. Oh my God, I'm gonna have that one while I'm vlogging tonight. I think that one sounds so good. But um, so, but up, up. So these are all the coffees, my all my holiday coffee collections. I'm so excited. But anyway, um, you know, it's funny because I've now gone almost three weeks with the exception of yesterday getting coffee at Starbucks, which I used my points for, so I didn't even have to pay for that coffee. So I've gone like three weeks. So I have about saved enough money to buy these secure <laughs> gay cups. That will get me through the holiday season, I hope. Anyway, um, oh, and I also bought, um, oh, I wanna show these really quick. So I'm gonna stop this and I will be right back. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. So I had to show you guys this because I'm so excited. It's the simple things that make me so happy. So I am seriously simply obsessed. Would you guys, do any of you out there watch Simply Obsessed with Sarah Gibson? <laughs> oh my God, Melissa, my friend Melissa and I, we get laughing so hard. She's like this Facebook person that sells stuff, you know? I think she started with that LuLaRoe way back in the day. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Simply Obsessed with, I think her name is Sarah Gibson, and she sells stuff, and she's like, yeah, this shirt is $4.99, I love it, I love it, I have it in every color, I have it in green, mod, you want it in green, green, 42, mom, green, 42, mod. Have you guys seen this? And she has these really, really long nails. Oh my God, Melissa and I will get on there and we'll say, say hi to Melissa and Peter, and she always ignores us, <laughs> but we just die watching it. Simply Obsessed with Sarah Gibson, go, Sarah Gibson on Facebook, go watch it, trust, you will like lose your mind, okay? And you'll probably get a good, couple good sales too. Anyway, I feel like her today. I am obsessed with these Tervis uh, cups, okay? Um, these plastic cups that I actually bought during lockdown so we could have like some nice plastic cups around the house. I and mean, we have some nice plastic cups, but I wanted these, they're double insulated, see? Now, I remember these when I was a kid because my aunt and uncle would drive around and they would always have these on here that said like uh, Woodstock Country Club or Meridian Hills Country, country Club because they would go to like somebody's birthday party at a country club and then they would get these Tervis cups, right? And then they would always drink like a Diet Coke or a Tab or you know something when they were driving around in their car and they always had these plastic cups and I loved them, right? And then um, after PP the Flying Chihuahua passed away, Somebody um, sent me this cup, which is to this day my favorite dishware cookware of life. And it is this Tervis cup. And you can see, this is where, uh, like back in the day, they would put like the country club things in here. They put um, PP's picture inside of it. And I love this cup so much. It makes me so happy. So I, the other day, was like, I'm, I'm going to phase out these plastic cups that we have up in our cabinets. The only thing I don't like about these is that they get soap spots on them pretty easily. But I was like, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to phase out these plastic cups that we have and donate them and get rid of them. And I'm going to start like at a time, like, because these are expensive, you guys. I'm going to start buying these Tervis cups or if I go to Williams Sonoma, buy like nicer plastic wear so that we actually, I know this is corny, but just to have like nice, I use a lot of plastic cups to have nicer plastic cups cups around the house, right? So what I really wanted for the holidays was I wanted red Tervis cups for the holidays and I got them, okay? And I don't even know how much they were. The price tag's still in the bottom. I think they were like 26 for two or something like that or 21 for two, but aren't they such a pretty color? You can get them in every color. You can get them in orange, green, blue, on and on and on, okay? But while I was over there, I was like, I could start collecting these all different kinds, right? So let me show you what I got. This one's really cool, you guys. It is goldfish, do you see? <laughs> It's goldfish, and this is like the beginning, the top of the water, and then they're swimming underneath the water, and then you can see down here, see? And this one even has a lid on it, so like my coffee cup, so that you can like open and close it like this. That noise drive you crazy? Get over it. Okay, so anyway, but isn't that nice? And then you can close it and it won't spill and all that kind of stuff. I love these, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, now let's try this spicy gingerbread coffee. I'm so excited, okay. Oh my God. Oh 
Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> it's time to go see Santa Claus. <laughs> anyway, cheers, you guys. Let me know. If you guys have suggestions for Keurigs or Keurig K-Cups, let me know. Put it in the comments. Oh, God, that is really so good. Put it in the comment section below. I am always open to buying more K-Cups. And as you can see, I definitely need more. So anyway. Um, oh, and by the way, I just want to say this. If you want to know what my all-time favorite go-to K-Cup is, it is Starbucks Toasted Graham. And you can get that on Amazon as well. So anyway, I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.